How do you save scenes? OBS already saves all of your work when you close it, but well, what happens if the power goes out? I'll just go through the different ways that you can take control of that situation in OBS and save your scenes. In OBS, on the top left-hand side, you click Scene Collection, and then you got a bunch of options here. You can create a new scene collection, and then it just wipes everything. You start fresh, just like kind of how you see my screen right now. There's no scenes, there's no sources, it's just blank. Uh, and when you do that, it'll ask you, you know, to give it a name and then you'll have a brand new blank slate of scenes. What I really, this is my favorite is duplicate. And what's nice about this is that if you've already built a lot of the, the things that you want to have in your other scene collection in a current scene collection that you're already in, you know, maybe you've got certain things set up, right? You've got your alerts placed the way you like it. And you've got your background set up a certain way, your cameras sized in certain scenes and you're like, you know what? I don't need all of this, but I want a good chunk of what I've already done in my new scene collection. Well, I actually recommend that you duplicate the work that you've already done, rename it, and then uh, and then just get rid of the things that you're not keeping so that you could keep the things that you are keeping, right? So duplicate the scene collection, you'll give it whatever the name is, and then you can go through your scenes and sources after that and delete everything. And you know like that your work in the scene collection that you duplicated from is safe. Uh, so that's really cool too. And in a way it's almost like versioning, right? You could say, you know, I still want this same scene collection, but I wanna make like another version of it where I edit that, but I'm still preserving the past that I can go back to. So yeah, it's, it's almost like making a copy of a file and then editing the copy, but you still have the original file in case you know something happens you don't like, you can just go back. I use this for everything. Also, there's an option to just rename things, right? So you can stay organized, name things the way you like. Remove, I've actually never used, right? Because you can have tons of scene collections in here. So I don't even ever remove anything. Um, and then import and export. So this is really where the question gets answered of how do you save your scenes? if you're worried that closing OBS or having the power go out or something is gonna delete all your work. So, and that's true, by the way, if your power does go out, <laughs> you, your work probably will not get saved. That's why, I don't know if you can see behind me, there's this little unit back here. You see this little guy right here? That's a battery backup, right? And this thing's amazing. I'll probably add a link in the description so you can get one of these. And this thing has actually, I've had the power go out and it's kept all of my PCs on my monitors on, and I actually also have my modem run to it, and it kept the internet going, even though the power was out. And I was live, so my live broadcast, it was like, as far as the audience knew, nothing had changed. I'll put the link in the description, but anyways, getting back to the topic. What you wanna do is, you've done your work, your scene collection is built, and before you close out at the end of the day, uh, you want to save everything before you hit that big X. So just hit export, and the extension, that it's uh, that it creates as a JSON file. Don't ask me what that means. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea, but you know, now you know. So if you find it on your computer, set, you say, what the heck is this JSON file? You might think, oh, it's probably like an OBS backup. So make a folder. I always recommend you make a folder where you remember where it's gonna be. I have like a drive and then in that, I have like an OBS studio folder that I made and then I have a subfolder in that called backups. And I always, drop it in that backups. Now you can, by default, it names the file the same name as the scene collection. So if you've already renamed the scene collection uh, in OBS, then that'll be the name of the file. But you can also change it. You could, you know, you could say V1, V2. I like to put versions on my file names and then you just save it. I'll just go ahead and save it in whatever this default folder is. Uh, and then it's done. Now you can confidently close OBS and know that worst case scenario, the point at which you exported this, you're good to go. You can bring it back. You can also, this is really cool too. Uh, and I don't really have a way to demonstrate this, but you can put that scene collection on like a, a thumb drive or a hard drive or a, you know, whatever you got. You could email it to somebody and then take that on another computer, open up OBS, go to scene collection, hit import, and you can import that scene collection and it'll have all your scenes, and in all those scenes, it'll have all your sources. Now, you have to remember that a source is always targeting something, right? So it's always looking, you've connected that source to a file on that computer somewhere. So those file directories, those targets aren't gonna be there. So you also have to bring in all of your files and put them on that PC and either 
set it up so that those files live in the same directory paths as the paths that already exist in your targets. Even if you don't have that, OBS, when you close and reopen it somewhere else and you add a scene collection, now what it has that it didn't have in the past is a dialogue will come up as soon as you open OBS that says, hey, these files are missing. And from there, you can actually go in and you can retarget those files. So you can say, oh, it's over here now and reconnect all those targets instead of what you had to do in the past, which was you'd have to go into each individual broken source and browse and go find the file that used to be in there. 